Hi everybody, it's Lauren Brown, also known as Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. And today we'll be doing my updated piercing tour, which I'm super excited about. Today it is January 2022. Last time I filmed this video, it was January 2020. So it's been two years and 10 new piercings. I now have 30 piercings, then I had 20. And yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. But first I'm gonna show you the setup and tell you kind of how I'm gonna talk about them. So here is really really proud of this here is how I set them all up so if you see me looking down I'm referring to my notes and we're gonna go I'm gonna tell you about the piercing how many I have where they are and then piercing pain out of one out of ten well not one out of ten but piercing pain out of ten healing pain out of ten and then total so that's how we're gonna do this I'm gonna go from easiest to most painful simply because I feel like it's easier to um, think of things relatively relatively and it provides more context when you build up because you say okay well this was more painful than what she just talked about rather than going the other way around and we're gonna jump right into it after i do this quick disclaimer and y'all don't understand how necessary this is trust me i know my comment sections <laughs> um this is my experience these are my piercings i'm not a piercer i'm just a person with 30 piercings and yeah your experience might be different in the last video first of all Thank you. Last video, we got a million views. Appreciate that. Y'all also about your different experiences in the comment section below. Feel free to do that as well. Everybody has different pain tolerances and different bodies. So keep that in mind. Here are my experiences. Starting with the least painful. And my word for this piercing is starter. I put a word for every piercing. My word for piercing this piercing is starter. I have one, two, three on this ear. And then one, two, three four one two three four on this ear so i have seven i can't remember which ear is which i have seven uh lobe piercings and the lobe is the flabby part that you know hangs which is different than the cartilage which is up here you can kind of tell on your ear like which is which and where where it, it starts and stop which is why i just counted it like that i gave it a one out of ten for piercing and a one out of ten for healing pain so that's a total of two this is usually the first person that everybody gets on their lower lobes when you're a baby or you're a child um that's a person that everybody gets got mine when i was a couple months old so yeah number two angel i i i gave every i gave every single uh piercing a name and that is my smiley my smiley piercing is a piercing that's right here in the front of my mouth this is by far the piercing i get asked the most about probably because it's in the front of my mouth and it's in front of my smile. I gave this a four out of 10 for piercing and a one out of 10 for healing. So that is a total of five. And the piercing is not on my teeth, but it is on my frenulum. So last time I did this video, I did not have a septum. This time I do. So if we see the lipstick on my septum, we're gonna ignore it, but I have to show you. That's my smiley piercing. It is on the frenulum, which is on that little flab that connects your uh lips and your gums yeah it's not on my teeth i get a lot of questions like how do i brush my teeth just like that i also made a q a video for all y'all questions because i just i had to separate the videos they were too long so i have another q a going up um at the same time as this so go check that video as well where i go more into y'all specific questions but can't talk about the smiley without showing y'all like how i brush my teeth also, last time I did this, I showed you on my smiley. I think there was plaque on it. Plaque does get on your smiley, just like there's plaque on your teeth. And y'all were all like, it's infected, it's infected. No, it's just a little bit of plaque. It just need to be brushed. Um, and so I just gently take a toothbrush. I actually have an electric toothbrush, so it works. And it's just my, it's just my demo toothbrush. This is just my studio toothbrush. Um, and you just gently brush the jewelry. And that's it. Um, smiley person, they do say they do say it lasts for two years. I'm on year two. I don't see any signs of it wanting to fall out. I hope it doesn't because it's one of my faves. Y'all pray for me. All right. Um, that's pretty much it on the smiley. Love it. I be looking at pictures with me like without a smiley, and I'd be like, whoa. All right, number three is my conch on my left side. I do have a conch on my left side and on my right side. They are separate. They are fraternal twins. They are totally different. I have a hoop on this ear and a stud on this ear. The pain levels were different. The healing was different. I don't know what it is, but I'll talk about the evil twin later. Right now, um, rank as third easiest. I actually put the word calm 
for this and it is a four out of ten for piercing and a two out of ten for healing so a total of six as well and yeah calm is the right word it's pretty calm um i actually got it pierced and got the hoop in like at the time of the piercing it has a ball here is the ball but i don't like the ball so i turn it to the back i can turn the hoop of the conch one thing about the conch to keep in mind is that it is a crusty piercing all piercings get crusty but conches get super crusty it doesn't matter how many times you clean it a day it will get super crusty so keep that in mind especially in its healing stages keep that in mind um Really calm Pearson. Really like her on this side, on this year. Really like her. We'll talk. We'll talk more about her in a second. Um, also, at number third, which is tied, is my belly button piercing. Isn't this ball so cute? I just got it from the beauty supply store, and it's super cute. Belly, um, my belly beauty supply store belly button ring and i'll tell y'all about why i have to keep changing my belly button ring so many times when we get to my tongue no spoiler alerts here but um it also i also gave it a six three out of ten healing and three out of ten for piercing this is the only piercing that i have that i did not get pierced in a shop my friend pierced it in her bathroom don't do that not safe but yeah they actually i don't think they do or they're not supposed to do piercings on Audi belly buttons I don't think that it's like an anatomically compatible piercing for Audi belly buttons. So if you have any but belly button, it's pretty simple to take care of because the belly button concaves, you have to soak it in salt water. So you take a little cup of salt water, turn it on your stomach and just let that do its cleaning. Pretty simple piercing. I think it's so, so cute. Wouldn't want to live without it. Love her. Also for belly button, I put risky. But that's only, I only put risky as the word because of how I got it. But you love her. Oh, also I put risky. <laughs> Also, I put risky because um, it is a piercing that rejects on a lot of people. So they reject on me, Obashata, but it does reject on a lot of people. Number four, sweetheart. This is my septum. Uh, I told you on the last video I wasn't gonna get a septum. I'm allowed to change my mind, I'm a human being. So here is my septum, and this is the first new piercing that I get to talk about. And I gave it a 5 out of 10 for piercing and a 1 out of 10 for healing. So that's also a 6. Here it is right here. Common question. Can you flip it up? I'm going to show you how to do that. Look at that. You just push it in. I have to get it down. There we go. Make sure it's clean. Because everybody just keeps acting like the nose piercings are not in the nose. And the reason I say that is because I put on Twitter like, why do nose piercings smell like that? And everybody was like, you just don't clean yours. No, nose piercings have a smell because they're in your nose. I'm getting off topic. Yeah, I got it pierced and I, I gave it a five out of 10. I say that from one to three and a half is a pinch. Um, five, and a si five to seven is like, you know, oh, a little bit of pain standard you know like I, i'm getting a piercing I, I expected to feel it seven to ten is like super painful so i give this a five out of ten um i definitely felt it i feel like i heard a pop like I, it was just uh, i feel like I, heard, I don't like hearing the piercings um it bled that once again goes person to person like some piercings i have bleed more than others and y'all tell me about your experiences in the comments below once again thank you for that so i know that like certain piercings bleed more than others for different people but my septum did bleed once i wiped the blood off that was it one out of ten for healing hasn't given me any problems ever since i have never changed it i'm kind of nervous to change it just because i don't know like i can't see it i don't know how to do that but i love her so real simple piercing i also think that septums do change like the whole characteristic of your face i feel like septum is a person that has a lot of personality like septum smileys and maybe like cartilage piercing i feel like I have a lot of personality like if i see someone with a septum piercing i'm like okay we see each other like okay okay so really like this piercing next is my date so my date is on my right ear on the inside and it is that circle the closed circle right here 
I actually did change the um, jewelry since last time I filmed. That is my date. And for that word, I put quiet. I also give it a 5 out of 10 for piercing pain and a 2 out of 10 for healing. Um, I think I had to wait just a little second before I put my AirPods back in, but I really didn't have that much of a problem with my date. They say that this is the migraine piercing. So if you ever heard somebody say like, oh, it's the piercing that's good for migraines or talking about the date. I've seen that and I've also seen the debunk. So I don't know. I'm not saying one way or the other. Um, I have had a migraine since I got it. So I don't, I don't know. I got it because it was cute. Yeah. Pretty simple piercing, doesn't get in the way. Um, I think that also might depend on the jewelry. This is kind of small jewelry. If you have like really big ornate jewelry, it might get in the way of AirPods and things like that. But I haven't experienced that because my jewelry is pretty simple inside of my days. Next is the um, Surface Tragus, which I gave the word screech. And the reason I gave it that word is because it's a six out of 10 for pain and a two out of 10 for healing. The surface tray is, 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 is less about the pain for me and more about how long it takes. So here is my surface tray. It's right here and it's on the side of my face. People think it's the ear. It's the side of the face right here, right before you get to the actual tragus, which is on the ear, which I do have. We'll get to that in a second. Here is my surface tragus. And yeah, it takes a long time because they're taking the bar and they're putting it through the skin. Man, it's not like, you know, the cartilage where you could just stab. You have to work through that skin. I don't like it. Last video, I compared it to getting your edges braided at an African braiding salon. I stand beside that. It's kind of like getting your hair, your edges pulled really, really, really tight. It's more of a, like a pinch and, and pull more than like a stab. And it takes forever. I don't think I would want to get this again. I actually had planned to get it on the other side and I opted not to do that. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like when piercings take a long time. It makes me uncomfortable. Mm -mm. Next is my contra, my right ear. And I named this one Shocker because this this one right here was really no problem. Getting my contra, my left ear was really no problem. Contra, my right ear was all the problems. So I gave this piercing a 6 out of 10 for pain and a 4 out of 10 for healing, which gave it the total of 10. Here is my conch. It's on the inside of my ear. Yes. This piercing hurt more and more importantly it gave me more problems in terms of like putting my airpods back in problem wearing masks at the point of when i made the video last time it was 2020 but it was february 2020 so we weren't wearing masks so i didn't have to think about masks or have any commentary about masks now i do um your conch may get in the way of your mask as well as your upper cartilage but this piercing hurts to sleep on more than this one it's just it's one of those piercings like, oh, if I knock into it, we're gonna have a problem. I don't, I'm not a piercer, so I don't know. If you know the answer, let me know down below. I don't know if it's because of the jewelry or maybe just because of the ear, but, cause this one is a hoop and this one is a stud, but the stud, I feel like um, hits more things or like gets caught, especially like on, the, on your mask more than the hoop did ever. Um, and maybe, I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it hurts more. It gets irritated by wearing like um, AirPods for too long. Mm -mm. This one is nothing like this one. Alrighty, next we're gonna move on to upper cartilage. I have three on my right ear and four on my left ear. These are all the piercings up here. And yeah, not this one that is the ball. All the ones that have the cubic zirconia. This one with the ball is a flat, which we'll talk about later different different piercing different like part of the ear as well here are the cartilages that go on the outside of this ear fold right here i'm just going to preach to you once again do not get your cartilage or really any piercings done with the gun it's not healthy for your ear will shatter your cartilage will make everything worse for you pier piercing and healing wise yeah but i'm only talking about the upper cartilage right now because this mid cartilage is a totally different beast and i'll talk about that in a second so my upper cartilage i gave it a six out of ten for piercing and a seven out of ten for healing so the healing is more work than the actual piercing i personally don't think that cartilage is healed i feel like cartilages are those piercings that like it's going to be tender forever um my mom also has a cartilage piercing and hers is like it won't heal um and what i mean by it won't heal it just it, it, it always just feel like a um a problem spot if you sleep on it too hard 
your ear is going to get irritated. Um, taking your piercing out for too long and trying to put another one back in rather than like, you know, your lobe. You can get some time without, you know, putting your piercing back in and having irritated your upper cartilage. Don't do that. Problem child. What was the word I even put here? Crybaby. Crybaby is the word I use for my upper cartilage. Um, but it looks so cool. But the healing yeah also when you get your upper cartilage make sure you get a bar that is long enough because i've had short earrings with short bars on here and i don't know about y'all because it's also different from person to person but my ears do swell especially my upper cartilage like it gets thick and that pressure will only make problems for you uh because it made a lot of problems for me when your bar is too short and your back is too close to the skin it's squeezing the cartilage it's a lot it is a lot so get bars that are long enough for your ears to be comfortable when you get your cartilage piercing alrighty next after um, crybaby is my nose so I have one on my left side and one on my right side I think last time I said it was a 9 out of 10 and the healing was a 5 out of 10 your nose piercing is going to hurt I mean, it's only a 14. You're probably wondering like, okay, why is it nine out of 10, but it's not like the most painful because the healing wasn't that bad. Like once you get your nose pierced, it's pretty much good from there until you have a few like flare ups. I feel like everybody gets a nose bump. Like everybody gets at least one bump on their nose. How I got mine to go away was salt water. So water and salt with non-oxidized salt, mixed it, put it on this I got my bump to go away I feel like everybody who has a nose piercing has a nose bump um it was painful to get my nose pierced but I put the word worthy because I just feel like it changes the whole it changes everything it changes everything I'm trying to tell you getting a nose piercing changes everything that's actually my ministry um my brother I just got my brother to get his not too long ago it's gonna hurt but it's also one of those quick piercings not like um the surface trick I was talking about earlier the hardest, like the thing that took the longest was making sure that I, they were even because I got them done at the same time. So doing the marking process was probably the thing that took the longest. It's pretty quick. Um, it is a sharp, sharp pain, sharp pain through your nose. Um, you will shed a tear. I pretty sure told me that and I, I did, I did. Um, you will shed a tear, I think it's cause like the whole sinuses thing, you know, your eyes, your nose, all of that. You shed a tear, you wipe that tear away and you'll be fine. And in a couple of weeks, you'll get a nose bump. You put a little salt and water on that. It should be good again. All righty. Mm, oh, that's my mid cartilage. Disclaimer, my mid cartilage, I actually did get done at Claire's when I was like way younger before I knew like guns are not good and that Claire's is like not a piercing place. Claire's is not a piercing place. It's an accessory place. Um, I also learned that people, a lot of people at Claire's, maybe all, um, are not piercers. Like, they're just people who work at Claire's who are doing piercings, which is a big difference. Um, so I have my mid cartilage, which is the piercing right in the middle of the outside of my ear. So low, upper cartilage, mid. I have one on both sides. Completely irritated. Um, I will give it a 7 out of 10 for piercing and 8 out of 10 for healing. Another piercing that has more healing than the piercing and that's because it, it just never it just never heals but it also is so irritated like stinging swelling but once again i got this done with the gun so take this as your psa to not do that but also yeah mid cartilages they hurt more than the upper cartilage all the way up, up here in the ear maybe because this part of my ear is a little bit more uh fat so going through all of that either way not a fan. Mid cartilage, when I say like screaming, screaming when I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, also another tip, don't get both your ears pierced on the same day, if you can avoid it. I mean, you can put your ear head in like a neck pillow, that sort of thing. But you know, if you could get like all your piercings on one ear and then get your piercing on another ear, try to do that. I wanna say I got my mid cartilage at like the same time, so sleeping was just a lot. Not a fan of my mid cartilage. Um, I mean, I'm glad I got them because it completes the ear, but swelling, stinging, just remember that. Next, uh, oh, Tide, they both have, Tide, they both have 15, is my tragus. So this is my tragus right here. You can see it. 
I can push it back and forth as a long bar. I gave this an eight out of 10 for piercing and a seven out of 10 for healing. And for the, no the word, I put annoying. And that's absolutely true. Here is my tragus. Okay, I never really wanted a tragus, but I was like, okay, I wanna get to 30 piercings. Also, I wanna have more piercings. I can talk about different experiences of them. I wanna experience more piercings. I already had a surface tragus. I plan to get that on this side. And I was like, I don't know if I wanna sit through that. So I was like, tragus, cool. Why not? I'll tell you why not. Now, I get a lot of piercing, a lot, a lot of questions about AirPods. This piercing is absolutely gonna cause a problem for your AirPods. Um, I had to wait a little while before I could put my AirPods in with this tragus right here. That also might be because like my tragus and my contra back to back, but the tragus was giving me way more pressure and pain than the conch. Not a big fan. Also, it's impossible to clean a tragus. It's so hard. And I did not realize that my tragus was dirty because I was cleaning it, but you can't see it because it's like on the inside of your ear until one day I had my handy dandy camera and I zoomed in. And the, it was just, it was just so, it was so bad. It was just so bad. And I'm like, I've been cleaning this and it's just so hard to navigate. But then I'm like stressed. I'm like, okay, I've been in class. People were sitting right next to me probably looking at my ear like, oh, what the hell? Cause they can see it. I just can't see it. Yeah. I don't like her too much. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like, like this is one of the first person I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take you out. Like other than my tongue, which we'll get to in a second. I was just like, I'm gonna take you out. Like even with my cartilages, I never thought to take them out. Like even with the conch, I never thought to take them out. Like I'm like, okay, well, when when you heal, when you when you grow up and you mature, then we're gonna be, we're, it's gonna be great. But my trace, I was like, I want you gone. And I still do sometimes. Cause it still gives me a little bit of trouble when I wear my AirPods on this ear, which I don't like. Cause I I like to wear my right AirPod, so I'm like ah. But yeah, I put annoying for her. Um, also because she's hard to clean, and I am a makeup influencer, so I take a lot of close-ups of me, my ear, things like that. That's embarrassing. I mean, it's, it's not embarrassing when I take pictures because like I can just edit that out, but that's a lot of work. But like in person, you know, people knowing that like your piercing is dirty and you can't see it or feel it and you clean it and you can't get it off. I don't like that. Alrighty, so after the tragus is my flat, which is also tied with 15 points. So my flat, I have one flat on my left ear, which is this ball right here. Oof which is this ball right here. It looks like a cartilage, but I promise you it is not. Here is my flat. And it looks a little like, my ear looks really um, disorganized up top and it doesn't really look, it doesn't look on brand. Uh, the reason why I got the flat is because I can't wait to change the jewelry. I just got it like a couple of months ago. I can probably just now start taking it out. The reason why I got this flat right here is because I want to put like, a, like I see the vision, okay? When it's in a ball like this with all of these, it looks cluttered. But I think like a star or something would be really nice. And the reason why it's called a flat, it's on this flat part of your ear. So on this side, I'll show you on this side, I don't have a flat right here. It's right here. So it's not along that flap on your ear, it's right here. That is my flat. I gave it a 6 out of 10 for piercing, 9 out of 10 for healing, which is a 15. It heals kind of like the upper cartilage, um, meaning that it just... It's, it has a problem. It just, it, it, it just, it just, it just has a problem. Um, yeah, it, it heals exactly like upper cartilage. It looks like upper cartilage, but it's not upper cartilage. I have the same piercing ranking. We have a six out of ten, but it is harder to heal. It also did hurt. We're moving into the the piercing. Like, ow, that really hurt. We're moving. We're moving into those. Um, yeah, it healed worse. Why do I think it healed worse? I feel like it took longer to heal. I mean, like, okay, I said they don't heal. So it took longer to get to like the point of like, you know what, you're pretty cool. Like you're not irritating me all day long. Oh, and for that one, I didn't put a word. I just put question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. But yeah, my flat, my flat, the healing pain was way worse than my upper cartilages. Um, I think that's also why I put question marks because they're like right next door. But you know, all neighbors are not the same. That was so fake deep. Okay, moving on. Let's get to um, my cooler piercings. So we're getting into my dermal. So here is my dermal piercing. It's the middle of my chest. 
I refer to it as Iron Man. I refer to it as a lot of things. Um, yeah, so let's talk about my dermal. I gave it the word touchy um, because it is touchy. And I'm going to tell you all about the piercing and healing and explain why. But first, I'll give you the ranking. So I give it an 8 out of 10 for my piercing and a 9 out of 10 for my healing pain. And basically, a dermal is any piercing that goes in the skin but doesn't come back out. It doesn't have an exit point. It has an entry point but not an exit point. So for my surface trays, you see there's an entry point here and an exit point that comes back out. Um, you see on my dermal, it goes in, doesn't come out. First question that I first question I, I know you're thinking is how I'm gonna take it out. I'm not. I'm not gonna take it out um, unless it just rejects itself out. But I have to get it surgically removed. So I try to keep her nice and safe so we don't have to go that route. Um, so the total was 17. And the reason why I gave it the word touchy is so basically when you get the dermal pierced, I actually made my mom watch a video of somebody getting their dermal pierced and she's traumatized. <laughs> um, but they put the screw in. A pierce your chest, stab you. Well, you don't have to get on your chest, you can get it anywhere, but I got mine on my chest because a lot of people get it like right on their boobs or in between their boobs. Anatomically, that was not gonna work for me. So, stab you, put in the screw, screw in the jewelry. Yeah, that's how it works. Um, the reason I called it touchy is for the healing. So I gave it a nine out of 10 for healing not necessarily for pain but just based on how much i was gonna have to go through with it like how much work it was so i did have to wear a band-aid on top of my dermal for three weeks i got this pierced in the summer so i actually ended up getting a tan on my uh like where i had the band-aids don't get the latex band-aids I mean, this is based on your skin. Latex band-aids on everything else is fine, like any other part of my body. But for some reason, when I was putting on the dermal, like my chest was breaking out where I put the band-aids, but not the piercing. So I have more stress really with the band-aid situation than the piercing in terms of like flare-ups. But you have to wear a, a band-aid for three weeks to keep it safe from anything. I, you will like, you never notice how many things you drop on your like chest or wherever you get a dermal until you get a dermal and you're like, ah, crap. Like, I dropped my remote on my chest. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> who does that? But you just never noticed before. Um, so I had to wear that for three weeks. And then after that, I was absolutely fine. And things were good. Um, I will say in terms of healing and in terms of like taking care of it, being more mindful about shirts. Because I was wearing a shirt actually earlier today, I had to change that was like right here, ended right here. And then that will, you know, put, pull the dermal out. No, just, just be more mindful. I like shirts that are up here or down here, but right there, you don't wanna put anything in, you don't wanna put anything near there or on there that's going to irritate it. Um, sometimes when I lay on my chest and I go like this, like lay on my side and I squeeze my shoulders, it'd be a little bit painful because that's squeezing the, it's, you know what I'm trying to say. It's squeezing the piercing out. So I'd be more mindful there. It's a touchy piercing. Just to be more mindful about things. Like when I go to trapeze and I have to like land on my chest, I'm like, ah, ah, because I have a piercing there. Yeah, but did it hurt? Yes, eight out of 10. It hurt. Um, am I nervous about having it removed? No, because hopefully I just take care of it so well I don't have to get it removed. Dermals do have a high, high um, probability of of rejecting though. No matter like where you get it. Like people have face dermals and then like their face dermal will reject. I'm rolling the dice, but I like it. A lot of people actually um, mistake it for a necklace. It takes a long time for people to actually understand what's going on here. But I know. Alrighty. Um, after... I, I named this one terrorist. It's time to talk about my tongue. If you've been watching this video um, and looking inside my mouth, weird, but I have a tongue piercing. It has no tongue ball on top of it. That is because I keep swallowing them. And I didn't have time to go to the piercing shop <laughs> before I made this video. Also, um, I have kept replacing them with belly button rings. But the last, I actually bought this belly button ring, the one I have on, so I could just use the top ball. I'm gonna take it out so I can show you what I'm talking about. But I didn't know that this belly button ring was attached to the top ball. 
So, here is the belly button piercing ring. And it usually works for a tongue ring. I watched the video before I got my tongue pierced. The girl was like, I swallow the tongue ring balls all the time. And I was like, no way. I won't do that. All the time. I it fell out twice on my birthday. My birthday party. So just in a matter of a couple hours. Um, swallowed one. Completely lost the other. A lot of times it'll come off when I'm driving or when I'm talking too long. The reason I say driving is because like I'm usually singing and rapping in the car. That will come off. Lose that. Um, don't 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 really don't really you know like her. My tongue piercing is a bully. Absolutely. Um, so it has no top because I the only reason I was even keeping it was to film this video and then I could get rid of it because I was like I've gone through too much at this point to not make it to the video. So I made it. Um, Maxi actually got I'm, I have. By this time, I probably have a whole video up about my tongue piercing, and I got it with my best friend. She took hers out early because it was messing with her teeth. Um, it's kind of like a wrecking ball for your teeth, the whole metal thing. And I'm, all my followers are like, oh, just get plastic, get plastic. I think I'm just gonna get it gone. I think that's what I'm gonna get. I'm done, I'm, I'm tapped out. Um, oh, how could I forget? I also got a feeling because of my tongue ring because I was eating steak and my tongue ball fell out. That's the other thing. Probably like, okay, well, how do you keep swallowing these balls? You don't feel it when your tongue ball falls out. Like, you don't feel it in your mouth. Especially if you have other stuff in your mouth. Like, when I swallowed the one at my birthday party, I had Chipotle in my mouth. I don't feel that. Yeah. So, I was eating steak, and it came out. And so, you know, you're chewing steak, you have to chew hard. Bit down on my tongue ball. And... You probably can't tell the difference. I have a great dentist. But one of my molars now has a filling. I never had a cavity or a filling in my life. But the first time I got one was because my tongue ring. Literally, it like, I bit down on it and I felt my tooth get hollow. Like I felt like a little crack in it. Went to my dentist. He chewed me out. I think if he could cuss me out, he probably would have. Um, he was so mad. And then he was like, I'm gonna go yell at your mom. And he went yelled at my mom. Not like, not really yelled at her. She don't play that. But he got he got a little stern with my mother. and was like, the tongue ring has to come out. The tongue ring. They just hate tongue rings. They're not good for your teeth. Um, they'll knock little pieces off of your front teeth. And things happen where you chip a whole tooth. He's like, yeah, I've seen people lose a whole tooth. So when I went to that dentist, got my x-ray. He's like, there's no, there's nothing really wrong with it. You're fine. I went on a picnic with my friends, Brian and Hannah. Ate one of those pretzel chips, buffalo. In case you were wondering. Ate one of those whole piece came off had to go get a feeling so yeah let's talk about getting it shall we let's like let's let's not talk about the effects let's talk about the cause let's talk about getting it um 10 out of 10 for piercing pain yeah winced 10 out of 10 for piercing pain and 8.6 for healing um as far as eating and things like that when you get your tongue pierced make sure you have things in strips it's the opposite of getting your wisdom teeth removed, which I also got done last year. Um, video, I maybe I'll upload my video on that. I vlogged the whole thing, but that was painful. But tongue piercing, tongue piercing is up there with that pain. I also got a concussion last year. That's why y'all ain't getting no piercing vi update, updated. That's why y'all ain't getting no piercing updated video for 2021. I was going through other occupational hazards. Um, my ring light fell on my head. Back to the plot. So. Get things in strips because you can put them on your teeth. It's the opposite when you get your wisdom teeth and they're like, oh, get soft foods. Don't get soft foods because that, that's going to require work from your tongue. You don't really have a tongue because you have a tongue piercing. So things like fries, um, if you can get things cut up into strips like chicken nuggets or chicken tender or thing like that. Anything that goes in strips is great because it goes straight to your teeth. Um, we got Rita's afterwards. If you don't know what Rita's is, it's Italian ice. It was cold. It was good. I also took Advil. I think I took Advil before I got the piercing. I don't, I don't recommend doing that because I'm not your doctor. But I think I actually had taken Advil before I got the piercing. So it was, a, it was still a ten out of ten. So tongue piercing is painful. Killing is painful. Um, can't really talk right for a little while. Can't talk for too long for a little while because your tongue is so swollen. Um, and that's really where the pain comes in. Tongue piercing was a lot of pain and a lot of damage. But she's still not the most painful. <laughs> the most painful still is the devil of a piercing, which is this rook piercing right here. So much pain and so much blood. And I don't mean when I got it pierced. I gave it a 10 out of 10 for pain and a 10 out of 10 for healing, so a 20. The tongue piercing was an 18.60. I had to I had to break out a decimal for the tongue piercing because I you know I 
I rounded to a 19. I forgot it did all those things to me. I rounded to a 19, but the, the rook is still worse. Um, so much blood once I got home. Um, when I went to sleep, still so much blood. Could not sleep. When I got up here, so I could see stars. I talked about this in the last video too, but this is why I had to make it relative. I had to, because I just talked about the tongue piercing and now you're like, that gotta be the worst. No, no, no. And the thing about the rook is, the thing that makes me the most mad is, it's a piercing you can barely even see. Whenever somebody says like, what's the most painful, 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 what's the most painful, what's the most painful piercing? And I'm like, the rook, they're like, which one is that? And I'd like, you know, point all inside of the ear. This is the rook, right here. They're like, I can't even see it. I'm like, oh. So yeah, that is all my piercings. That is all 30, um, if you were counting. Hope you counted right. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if I told you like how many I have. You, you see, you see what I'm talking about. I have 30 piercings. That is my experience with all of them. And I will have a piercing Q and A up at the same time as this and also I should have my tongue piercing video with maxi we got tongue piercing then we got matching tattoos i have a matching butterfly on the back of my neck with her so check out that video as well and yeah leave any comments i mean well yeah leave any comments but leave any questions you have below if i did not get to your question in this video or the next video let me know you can also follow me on my socials at raggedy royal on instagram twitter and tiktok where i talk about piercings and makeup and a lot of other things um, on my tiktok i have been doing a bucket list so i've been going to do different things which include axe throwing um trapeze go-karting trying all these different fast food places it's been a lot of fun so check me out on tiktok for that and instagram for more looks such as this and let me know what you think about piercings well no don't let me know what you think about piercings because obviously you're here. So either either you like piercings or you like piercings on the low. So also let me know what your piercing experience were. If you have any other piercings that I have, let me know how it went for you. Um, if you feel like you have the same piercings I have and the ranking were a little bit different, let me know. If you feel like no way the rook was worse than like the mid cartilage, let me know down below. I loved reading those comments last time. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Give this video a like if you learned anything. And I will see y'all in my next video i'm really excited i got this video done also let's take this out Whew. goodbye know yourself and know thy enemy but yeah my mom has been waiting so long for me to take this piercing out she asked me every day do you take it out do you take it out and i'm like no i haven't taken it out i need to do the video she's like do the video i'm like i need to get my roots dyed but it's done